you know something? Let's take a look outside. It's a gorgeous fucking day out. But that's not how I fucking feel inside my body. I'm all fucking fired up. And you know something? The reason why I'm fired up is just to give you a little bit of information. I've gone to the NFL draft. Not one, not two, not three, but this will be my fourth year participating as a Wild fan in the line of the NFL draft. It typically just a paint a, a vivid picture for you. If you don't fucking know, you've been living under a rock for the past decade. The NFL draft is a congregation of filthy, disgusting fans from all 32 teams that want to get fucking blasted on the streets in New York City, sitting on the fucking sidewalks right outside of Radio City and patiently wait until the stroke of midnight. And at the stroke of midnight, Radio City and the NFL execs hand out wristbands to permit everyone, all the wretched fans that have been waiting outside into Radio City for the NFL draft the next day. Excuse me, but this is my second time recording this, and my voice is shot. But I want to get my fucking point across! So the fact of the matter is, this year, they said we're not handing out the wristbands at 12 o'clock. There's a homeless man right here, and let's see his reaction when I yell. But the fact of the matter is, we're going to be fucking handing out the fucking wristbands at 7 o'clock! Not 12, 7. This year, the NFL draft has a bedtime. So instead of the wild NFL fans drinking like sons of bitches on the sides, getting fucking blasted, I'd be usually be emitting beer out of my pores, sweating like a savage, but not this year. This year, there's a bedtime and a curfew, and we need to be out by 7 p.m. Well, the fact of the matter is, I don't fucking take that lightly. There's the homeless man. I don't fucking take it lightly one fucking bit. The NFL does everything they possibly can to fuck its fans. It's constantly changing the fucking rules. It's doing everything it can to snake and finagle extra money. Guess what? Last year, they wouldn't allow any kind of bags into the NFL draft. So you know what they did? This year, they made their own clear NFL protective bags that they started selling, which me and the rest of my buffoons and my crew decided to splurge and spend money on. So it's an extra fucking coin in their fucking pocket. They don't give a fuck. The fact of the matter is the National Football League wants to bend each and every fan outside of Radio City over and fuck us subliminally, right in the ass, no lubricants. And I don't take that lightly. And every year, Roger Goodell comes through, <laughs> how are you? And he shakes everybody's fucking hand. Well, this year, I'm not shaking his fucking grubby hand. He wants to move the NFL draft out of New York City where it belongs and fucking take it to some other shithole city. This might be the last time I go to the NFL draft and it'll be a fucking shame but if there's anything that I could say to Roger Goodell this year it's gonna be Roger you're fucking 